Hey, hey Fremont. Fremont! I'm Ashika. And I'm Caitlin. And this, this is, is another episode of Fremont, Fremont TV. TV. We're back with your favorite game where you get to roast your teachers. Students sent in roasts and selected teachers got to read them. Let's check it out! Hi, I'm Miss Chu and I teach math and I'm here to read some mean tweets. First up, I got Ah-Chu! All right, I guess it's not really a mean tweet. Hi, this is Mr. Heinke. Um, if you were my student last year, you know this is my distance learning perch, so sorry if that's triggering. I'm a math teacher here at Fremont, and I'm gonna read some mean tweets. Okay, when I can't sleep, I pull up Mr. Heinke's old lesson videos. His voice works better than melatonin. Funny story, so actually those are sleep aid videos but they just happened to i was like i was able to use them again for geometry so win-win hi so my name is uh john mcgee mr mcgee i've been in this room for something like 32 years um this is where i sleep uh, i teach biology to ninth graders and i teach ap bio forever and uh looks like four people tweeted about me so the first one says um my mother named me john cool story bro IDK, anything about this, but this teacher is amazing. Okay, so if that's your mean tweet, then either if you aren't in my class, you should, like be in my class next year. And if you, you have had me before, then it seems like I should be your teacher again. Cause that's like, that's a fabulous mean tweet. Bless your heart. Um, he's that one teacher that leaves his class waiting in the hall until the last minute. I roll. Um, so, you know, nobody's tardy and like the rest of Fremont, I've never, ever told anybody in my life to stand in a line outside my door. They just sort of did that. So like, who cares? You spent more time on activism than trig functions last year. Mm, I don't know about that, but you know, some pretty important stuff. And then last I got, I can always count on Miss Chu to stress us out over the amount of quests in a month. Facts. All right, hi students, it's Mrs. Heineman. Um, I am gonna read some mean tweets. Um, so I only got two, which makes me think I need to resolve to being more mean in the future. Okay, first one. Next time Ms. Heineman gives me a bathroom pass, I'm just going to pee myself. The whole reason I give bathroom passes is so that you don't pee yourself. Now, if you're still finding that you're peeing yourself, we all know it's just because all the bathrooms are locked. All right, this is Mr. Kelly, I'm a music teacher, and these are mean tweets. Mr. Kelly's entire life is banned. You would think she would be able to figure out how to enter lab grades. Um, touche, this is definitely from one of my AP students. Um, yeah, you're right. Me with Schoology and rubrics, definitely um, not my forte. But you know what? You would think my AP students would be able to figure out how to write a lab report that's worth grading. Now, come on. I teach orchestra too. You look like Ben Shapiro. Oh, that's a good thing I don't think like him. Is it just me or does Heinke always think he's on a Netflix comedy special? I don't think that's fair. Like, you know, it actually reminds me of this time in college. Well, actually, I didn't learn a lot in college. Um, and it's my own fault because uh, I, I chose a double major, uh, psychology and reverse psychology. <laughs> anyway, so I think you got it wrong. I know Kelly could never go vegetarian with all the beef he has with his students. Now, if you know me well, you know that I prefer chicken over to beef any time of the week. If Mr. Kelly got a dollar for every good joke he told, he would be broke. This is true. Joe Kelly, more like joke Kelly. That takes me back to all the high school jokes about me. All right, time for some mean tweets. Okay, first one here. He's the best lit teacher ever. Very good at lit. I learned so much about writing and English. I think I am so great at the subject now and very, very good at speaking about it too. Spelled number two, very great class. Well, I'm glad you like my class and I'm glad that you've learned a lot about writing and English 
but I have some bad news for you. I'm actually a history teacher. Uh, I don't actually know who your lit teacher is, but whoever they are, good luck to you because the grammar in that tweet was rough. It was rough, but you got it. You can, you can work through it. This isn't a roast, but I feel like you would vibe with a unicorn stuffy. Well, I feel like you're not very good at reading people because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think that I don't really, I'm not hundred percent sure what that is, but I don't think that I would. It doesn't sound like things that I'm, that I'm into. Mr. Ragna says he borrowed his Halloween costume from his go his girlfriend, more like he stole it from his mom. This one is good. This one's mean in multiple ways. So first it's saying that, I think they're saying that I'm lying about having a girlfriend and that in fact, I got my costume from my mom and I was just trying to be cool. <laughs> or it's saying that my mom has lame costumes and that's why she would have been the one uh, to have a stick of butter costume, which is what I was for Halloween. Moving on. This isn't a mean tweet, but Frogness exotic forever. Well, th this one's an inside joke. Could not agree more. All right, and I'm gonna add to it, Schnail for president and exotic Frogness for VP 2024. Let's do it, baby. Mr. Rognus looks like a farmer when he wears the same flannel and jeans outfit to school. This one actually hurts me. This one hurts deep. Thank you for that. I hate you. Okay, here we go. Mr. Rognus is one of the best people on campus. He matches my energy a lot and we have the exact same music taste. But boy, is he louder than the average American person. All right. Well, you know what? This one's not really that mean. It's really just a statement of, uh, of fact. I am, I am definitely one of the best of all time. Um, and I am definitely, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm not just louder than uh, the average American person. I'll take it on anyone, all continents, all, all sectors. Well, this has been Mean Tweets, and it's been nice. Thank you. Hey, so hello, my name is Mr. Moore. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Fremont. Believe it or not, I've been here for four years, but we haven't been here. So um, I'm gonna read some things. Uh, tweet number one, who is Mr. Moore? That's actually a really good question since we've been uh, remote. Uh, and the second one is, I'm so scared to write you a mean tweet. I, I am really nice. I'm not mean, but I'm all, usually pretty nice. Good morning. This is Mr. Caprilos. This year I'm letting my students call me Mr. Bob if they want to as well. I teach uh, engineering. Here are the mean tweets that have been directed towards me. First one says, he is the best history teacher I've ever had. I learned so much about how America saved the world in the third alien war. History? Well, I like history, but what do you mean the third alien war? I have no clue what you're talking about, but Mr. Capri Sun, it is one way to remember how to say my name. Mr. Rognus has scary eyes that follow you everywhere. Well, this one is actually not a mean tweet. This is just a fact. They do. They follow you everywhere. Second one says, the lectures are boring. Boring? Wait till you get to college if you want to have boring lectures. The third one says, jealous for the people who have never met you. I'm not sure I interpret this one. The daily check-ins and five seconds of meditation is not helpful. Tough tootie. It helps a lot of students in my class and it helps me. So you're gonna have to live with it. This person says, um, I learned more about how to make bad jokes than biology in Mr. McGee's class. I agree. And your grade confirms this. This is not a mean tweet. However, everyone must know that Mr. Rognus dressed as a stick of butter for Halloween. Yeah, we already covered this before when we were talking about how I got that costume from my mom. I mean, from my girlfriend who exists. Okay, sorry. Mr. Kelly likes Korean marinated barbecue chicken more than his students. Yeah, my mother-in-law's Korean barbecue is pretty darn good. Mr. McGee, are you really Australian? I bet you've never even wrestled an alligator. No, but I've eaten alligator and I've wrestled an Australian. Mr. McGee, stop stressing students out. Hey there, Mr. Schulten here. Uh, I am a math teacher at Fremont High School. Hello, uh, I'm doing mean tweets. So I've got, I got five of them here. Here we go. Uh, science with Mr. Schulten was a blast. We learned mixing acetone and bleach isn't allowed at school anymore. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, so first off, it warms my heart that the chemistry lab that we did in my math class uh, really resonated with you. I'm glad. It's definitely a bad idea to give unlabeled chemicals to teenagers and just tell them to explore. Um, I, learning experience for me, for sure. Uh, and thank goodness that the custodian found us uh, when we all passed out on the floor in my room and called 911. Lifesaver that man was, so uh, yeah. Uh, next one here, Mr. Schulten always looks like he can read your mind if you make eye contact. How do you know I can't? Right, stress is essential for life, improves cognitive function, enhances child development, improves immunity. I'm keeping you alive, man. Number three. Um, next one, I don't even need to be a math teacher to calculate how many students have failed your class. That's something my son, who is six, can definitely do. I don't believe my fails are into the triple digits yet. But anyways, if counting is sort of your bar for what a math teacher can do, you uh, have misjudged us greatly. All right, last one. And I think I'm gonna be extra snarky and mean on this one. Uh, you went to college to learn high school math. Good work. Uh, okay, listen here, you knuckle-dragging peon. Um, I went to college and learned college math, and then I learned how to teach high school math to adolescents whose frontal lobes are not fully formed yet. Thanks. Keep sending them. Okay, uh, Mr. Rognus needs to get new shoes that don't squeak. No, I don't, because I like the squeaky noise now. I've had it for long enough. I've gotten used to it and now it, it comforts me. And so it's 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 not going away. Um, too bad. Well, this has been Mean Tweets and it's been nice. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, that's it folks. Bye. Wow, that was exciting. Stay tuned for our next episode of Fremont TV coming out up next month. Make sure to follow at Firebird Felipe on Instagram, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and watch another episode here. Bye, Fremont! Bye, Fremont. <laughs>